now we can start our dhamma sermon we are in dhamma pada stanza number 151 jiranti je raj ratha su chinta ato sariram pijaram upeti satang cha dhammo na jaram upeti santo hove sabbi pavedayanti this stanza are also mentioning about decay in of our body this one has a wonderful simile given by the buddha even ornamented royal chariots were out all royal chariots were out so to the body reach all age but the dhamma of the good grows not old thus indeed say the saint among themselves jiranti ve rajaratha suchitta even ornamented decorated and electrated the king's chariots jiranti dikhe as you know those day king was the leader of the country first person of the country but today we know president or prime minister would be the first person of the country all of them have better facility the best facility in the world, in the country what the country has all among those things the best facility who has the king the ruler the prime, prime minister or president they have so they their vehicles their office vehicles are the vehicles most decorated important luxury vehicles so the nature of that vehicles how would be same as other vehicles there's no difference jiranti uh, uh, jiranti it's mean decay because even though that uh, official vehicle also made by is a creation of four elements there's no difference perhaps might be they use uh, diamonds it does not matter finally it's a, it has to decay it has to that's the universal nature universal truth but every luxury things and all the technology would be there but it does not matter finally not finally each and every moment it has been changing and changing decay it means decay finally atu sariram pijaram upeti this is the nature of our body too this body also creation of these four elements the car also creation of the four elements according to abhidhamma explanation eight elements sudhastaka and in according to the following the suttas we can consider as four elements so the nature of these elements decay because oh, each and every these things are impermanent impermanent is changing all the time can you find anything in this world which is not belongs to which is not changing which is not under three characteristics there's nothing that's why the buddha used this the chariots of the king which is the very decorated 
and each and every facilities that we have in the world ready to put in there the technology excellent technology they are using to create that but at the end it is also decaying it is also in the process what is that process in permanent suffering selflessness in permanent suffering selflessness there is nothing permanent in this world even though how much you put to decorate that what kind of uh, technology you are using there it does not matter that's why dear friends in the world you can see health wise there are so many researchers in this world so many new things that they are found in each and every day in health field almost 100 years 150 years now modern technology is growing and increase in so many facilities to get supports for this life for, for for our lives but no one was able to find something to establish our life in this very life no one was able to find any medicine not to die not to die is everything under death it means everything under decay is decaying and decaying therefore the in in this simile the buddha used simile as a practical simile because the buddha was there in the uh, king kosala's palace addressing the kosala the buddha used this simile there when uh, king kosala's wife queen mallika when she passed away the king was very upset he was very sorrowful he was in very sorrowful stage so seven days later he invited to the buddha and the monks to come to his place to perform a meritorious deeds when he was engaging with that the buddha used this stensa to give a dhamma talks for them then buddha used simile using the king's chariots the king's chariots jirantive raja ratta suchinna even buddha was ex- uh, uh, addressing the king your chariots is the chariots which is most valuable chariots which is more uh, technology te- technology wise the best technology is there but what is the nature of that chariots it's subject to decay no one can change that it is a universal law so same as atu sariram pijaram upeti this body also decay there's no changes what does it mean decay in and decay in one day it will depart from you depart from this world it mean it will reach to death we are decaying in this process we are in this proce- process decaying for what to reach the death to reach the death but very important thing is the other buddha mentioning satamcha dhammo najaram upeti what we should use this body as you know this body would be a useless things one day so before reach that useless stage we should use this body to create some useful things what is it that what is it satancha dhammo najaram upeti we should use this body to develop dhamma to practice dhamma to increase our insight increase our insight what does it means what what we can increase insight we should increase qualities what are the qualities loving friendliness compassion sympathetic joy equanimity 
all these categories there are four categories all these categories are the categories that you can uh, put each and every qualities that you have has as a human being what kind of qualities you have as a human being all these qualities you can put into these four categories attaining enlightenment means you are establishing this quality you are able to maintain these qualities without changing we have these qualities with us we have love and friendliness thoughts but we don't know when it will go away from our mind we have compassionate thoughts but we don't know when it will go away from our mind it's subject to change because the qualities are not established why qualities you can establish if you are eliminate if you are eliminating all the defilements from your mind because defilements are the main barrier that you have against these qualities why you are not able to be a good person Pull, pull up loving penniness thoughts pull up uh, compassionate thoughts because you have desire greed hatred and ignorance so then establish those qualities what we should do we should work against these quality these uh, uh, natures we have to work against our greed hatred and ignorance these are the roots of all unwholesome unwholesomeness that we have so to establish wholesomeness what we should do we have to work against this unwholesome roots what is the way that we can do first we have to think about to control these unwholesome thoughts first we have to control second we can reduce third we can eliminate how we can eliminate these defilements from your mind we can eliminate all these defilements root of defilements from your mind gain in wisdom gain in wisdom in dhamma chakka pavattana sutta the first sermon of the buddha how would the introduce this method to his followers five monks aloko udapadi jnanam udapadi panya udapadi vijja udapadi i got lights aloko udapadi i got lights jnanam udapadi i got wisdom vijja udapadi i i knew i know i know the science methods A reality i realized the reality explain in all these nature then buddha started to introduce what you should do to gain your lights to gain your wisdom how you can develop your wisdom you should work on that reducing your defilements working against your defilements and reducing and then finally you can eliminate your defilements so we should use this body one day this body will die it will become a useless log then you can do nothing therefore before reach that level we should use this body benefits for ourselves benefits for our practice otherwise just you are wasting your time and space time and space the buddha advising buddha advise us and taught us you should use this body for what 
to develop your insight to gain wisdom to gain lights to eliminate defilements this is the advice given by the buddha to king kosala jiranti jiranti ve rajaratha suchitta this body is equal to your royal decorated illustrated chariots but what is nature of nature nature of that chariot it will decay no one can stop that so what you should do with this beautiful beautiful elaborated chariots you should use it for what benefits for yourself going here and there doing some works as a king as a rule of the country same way we should use this body benefits for ourselves for what to reach our goal to achieve our goal dear friends how do we know our goals how we can find our goals what are the goals that you are maintaining when you go to school kindergarten particularly you can ask from these little ones why you are coming to school what is your purpose of life what kind of goals you have how would you view, how would you be in, in future all of them might say i want to be a doctor i want to be an engineer i want to be a scientist i want to be a teacher i want to be a lawyer proctor professor so many answers would be there why you want to be a doctor why you want to be a lawyer why you want to be attorney general why you want to be a professor why you want to be an engineer why you want to be a teacher why ask question yourself ask yourself why to be happy to be happy maintaining that goal who already accomplished that goal are they happy are they happy with that their achievements no they have many other things they have so many other goals for their life therefore in this mundane world dear friends thoughts are unlimited time is very limited time and space is very limited therefore that those are not the goals that we should maintain to be a doctor to be an engineer those are the things that we can do as extra things mainly we born to this human world as a human beings to develop our humanity achieving own goals if you are not be happy if you are not be able to be happy then what is the purpose of to have that goal the hidden thing is happiness whatever the goals you are maintain it does not matter you want to be happy therefore let us work for our happiness we have to work for our happiness what kind of things we should do to gain our happiness in this existence are giving us wonderful thing satam cha dhammo na jaram mupeti you have to gain you have to gain the knowledge of dhamma you have to practice enhance your experiences through the dhamma why dhamma never decay jaram jaram upeti dhamma is not something decaying when you develop your insight spirituality using the dhamma teachings of the buddha or universal truth it doesn't matter whatever the words we are using one thing that knowledge that experience that establishment is never changing 
And finally, when you attain enlightenment, that enlightenment never change. Enlightenment is enlightenment. There's no any changes with that enlightenment. Nibbana is not belongs to worldly conditions. Nibbana. It's beyond the worldly conditions. When someone attain Nibbana, there is no reasons to lose their qualities. Compassion, loving friendliness, sympathetic joy and equanimity. These are the qualities. These qualities are never lose from them when they establish their mind. When they attain enlightenment. This is the nature. This is the nature because they don't have any defilements. So we have to use this body because this body can exist only very short time period. Very, very short time period. Space is very limited. Using this opportunity, small amount of time and the space, we have to develop our insight, our happiness. That is our duty, that is our responsibility. Our duty, our responsibility is not to become a doctor, not to become an engineer, not to become a teacher, not to become a lawyer. Our responsibility, main responsibility is as human being to develop our humanity. Other, other goals are extra goals, but unfortunately in this world, we completely forget about this main purpose of our life. In Singhalova, the Sutta, the Buddha advised to parents what they should do for their children. When they are born to these children, for them, for them, what they should do? They should five things. First thing is Papa Nivarenti, they should introduce evil deeds. Okay, these are evil. You're not supposed to do any of these evil deeds. You, they should protect their children from evil deeds. They should protect. Introducing evil, these are the evil things. Such and such things are evil. You're not supposed to engage with any of these evil deeds. This is the first teaching that the parents should give for their children. And what is the second thing? Kalyane Nivapenti. Then, as a parent, you should uh, help your children to establish wholesomeness. To establish wholesomeness. That is their duty. Then Buddha never start to teach, Buddha never asked from the parents to do to introduce their languages, to teach them to learn something. No. What are the lessons that we should give them for the children as a parents? First, Papa Nivarenti, escape from the evil deeds. And Kalyane Tapapenti, keep them on wholesome activities. Wholesome activities. Then as a third thing, Sikhang Sikha Penti, as a third thing, they have to help. Parents should help their children to learn, gain their knowledge, gain their knowledge. See, that is the third thing. But in this world, that had become a first priority thing. That had become a first priority thing. All the parents are trying to teach their kids to gain knowledge. Knowledge is information. What you can do with that information? You don't know to worry about information. Informations are everywhere. You should have some kind of knowledge to manage that information. That is the very important part. And then you should use your knowledge to think deeply and widely. This is the main goal that we should keep in our mind. Then as a parents, what we should do, these are the things that we should do. Dear friends, this life is very short. 
this body we don't know how long we can keep this body healthily therefore we have to use this physical body benefits for ourselves to gain our insight to gain our uh, main goals to achieve wisdom establish the qualities to establish qualities as human beings to establish qualities as you know we should work against our defilements to get rid of those roots defilement roots from our mind this is the main purpose of life if we can maintain this purpose of life how would be that society that kind of society would be peaceful the happiest society in this world not just human when humans are happy then they can share that happiness with all other living beings all other living beings but just think about the world humans are living with fear and doubt because of their hum- weaknesses that they increase most of their weaknesses so as a result of that weaknesses they are living with fear and doubt when they are living with fear and doubt stress is going up anxiety depression all these are there when they are living fear and doubt all other living beings also get that fear get that doubt it's happening because humans are the main important living beings in this universe according to our knowledge and experience therefore as being born as a human beings we should take care of our humanity we should use this opportunity to develop our humanity human quality because this body is decaying this body is decay no one can avoid there is there is no any medicine any uh, health uh, uh, any kind of uh, medicines to increase your health establish your body to useful benefits for yourself there is nothing anything therefore we have to use this short time period and uh, uh, skillful body to establish our inner peace and then we have to work against our defilements which is causing trouble for us for our which is destroying our happiness defilements are the main roots who is which is working against our happiness therefore our happiness is not depending on someone else it is not depending on outside our happiness is inside with us so increase our happiness we should take care of the defilements that we have so let us use this body follow the buddha's advice and when you are gaining something practicing dhamma that knowledge that experience that development is not decay not decay na jaram upeti that establishment dhamma of the good grows not all it is not decaying it is not decaying this is very important message keep in your mind let us practice dhamma develop your courage and energy people effort to practice dhamma having that uh, aspiration uh, we can wind up today program thank you very much for your participation let us use this opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of us by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected covid 19 and any other sicknesses by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of this merits and metta thoughts 
May we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana, having that aspiration, say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. By means of this meritorious deeds, may I never join with the police. May I join always with the wise until the time attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest limbs of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with poem and without poem, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent. excellent. Thank, Thank you, you Bhante. Thank, Thank you, Bhante. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. sadhu.